Hi friends, welcome back to my studio. It has been a while. I have been dealing with some stuff, but hello. It's nice to see you again. If you're here for the first time, hello, welcome. I'm going to do my kind of Q4 slash all of 2022 wrap up on this planner that I've been using all year. Uh, talk about what worked for me, for how long, what I'm thinking of doing differently, that sort of thing. I think it's fun to kind of be retrospective about it and to uh, kind of learn, learn what I can. So if any of that can help you, even better. So I'm in my Planners Anonymous Christmas at Home planner cover. I switch these planner covers out seasonally um, just because I think it's fun. They're pretty expensive, but you can get them on a great sale if you watch and wait. So I scored a huge deal on this one. Otherwise, I don't know that I would have gotten a Christmas one, but I think I'll use it for, well, we'll see. Definitely for all of December, I've been using it ever since Thanksgiving. I was thinking I'd maybe use it into January, but based on what I'm using in 2023, I feel less sure. That's a different topic. All right, let's talk about this. At the beginning of the year, I decided to do a disc-based custom planner. Um, at the beginning of the year, I was doing a very different layout. Let's find one. Yeah, something like this. Um, and I was printing them out myself. I was um, punching them. I really loved that. Um, I loved the ability, this is a good example, this is a spread that I did all purely with digital stuff. There's not a single sticker on here. Um, I have a video for how to do this. I probably even have a video for this spread in particular, which I will link up above. Um, so I really enjoyed being able to like print and like put those directly on. Um, so this is the Katie layout in B6 wide size. I sell this in my shop. You can put it down, you can go down below. I sell both dated and undated. This is what I used most of the time for most of the year. This is actually another one that I just printed straight on. Um, and so then I could do like the background and stuff too, which is really fun. I loved this. This is what I did for most of the year. Occasionally I would like just switch things out just based on what I was in the mood for. You know, I wanted to use this paper and these stamps. So I had a lot of flexibility to change things up and I really, really liked them. At the end of the year, however, I wasn't maybe in my best place, but also I really enjoyed it. Um, I switched to a way more journaling based layout, something like this. So uh, I think this had started that um, I had done a video and I'll link that comparing different grid based planners and I loved the take a note planner but it only comes in A5 and I really wanted to try it and I really wasn't my most motivated self and so I only really wanted to put one or two things to do each day and then I wanted to mostly journal. So I switched to this grid layout with two columns and then this is a week on four pages. I've got room for like a currentlies and whatever. And then a little journaling for each day. And I really enjoy um, how much more of my stash I can use if I do a week on four pages. Like I can, I can fit more stickers on it without it being a bigger planner. And I also kind of really enjoy this like curving around stickers thing. Like I just, I find it fun and really like visually amusing. So um, I have really been enjoying that a lot. So when it came to 2023 and whether or not I was going to stick with this kind of system, 
I spent a lot of time not really being sure. I actually developed a whole um, new layout that I was going to use. Let me show it to you. Okay, this is very subtle. It is essentially that um, layout that you see here, but what you can't tell is there are, maybe you can see them, little dots. And those are the dots that make up uh, this layout here, the Katie layout. So let me show that to you because I did a sample one just to see. So this is the same take a note grid layout here, but with the, with the guides, I can make it into the Katie layout. And so I really, really enjoyed the flexibility that that gave me. And I was, I had pretty much decided that this was the layout I was going to start with in the new year. And I could just, you know, switch back and forth between the like really journaling heavy weeks if I wanted to, and the more box sticker um, ones, if that's what I felt like. Where I was running into trouble was that I'm kind of tired of discs. Maybe I'll come back to them. Maybe I will miss them. That strikes me as perfectly possible. But I had kind of fallen in love with the idea of a book bound planner. And so because now I'm at the end of the year and this is essentially a keepsake. You know, it's full of my journaling. It's full of the art supplies that I love. Like, it's not something I'm going to throw out. You know, I approach these planner spreads as kind of an art project every week, which is why they're ridiculously, like, kind of ornate. But, um, like, that is the mentality that I am coming in with. And so, these were all stamps. That was a lot of fun. There's a video for this one. Um, but I'm kind of not sure what it means to store this long term with the discs. Like, I'm sure I could, but I kind of want these discs back. Like, if I do another disc bound planner, I definitely want these discs. So I'm going to have to move all of the pages onto discs that care about less, which is. It's fine, it's not the end of the world. But um, as I got into like the fountain pen friendly paper and based on how full this is, the, the, the paper is much lighter and it kind of is getting stuck. This one actually tore a little on the discs. And so I'm just not sure that I wanna stay on discs right now. So did this planner work well for me in 2022? Absolutely. Uh, it wasn't until like November that I really thought, man, I want to switch. So that is about six months longer than I've ever made it before. I usually start getting antsy at around the three month mark. So this served me incredibly well. I got to really flex my graphic design skills with the different layouts and I got to use um, my printer to use all kinds of things. This is printed directly on the page. Like, I really, really enjoyed myself. But I am the kind of artist who likes to try new things. And, you know, part of the system was to be able to let me try new things, and it did, and I will um, keep pushing myself. But I'm in the mood to try something new. So, I loved it. It worked great. If you think it'll work great for you, like I highly, highly recommend it. I'm just opening to random spreads. Um, just so that I'm not just waving my hands with nothing to do. But um I said some of these already. There we go. Uh but I'm ready. I'm ready to experiment with something else. So that is where I am headed in 2023. I will definitely keep this in my back pocket. I have given myself an out um, for the planner I chose. So if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen me post about it a lot. Let 
me grab it. So I'm going to do a separate video talking more about this, but I am going to be using the Common Planner from Sterling Inc. for 2023. It's bookbound, as we discussed. The reason I picked it, and I'm going to do a separate video, is that these like notes pages at the end they're enough for one every day and they have pretty much exactly the same like composition as this one here that I was telling you about that can do this layout and can do this layout so that's why I felt comfortable buying this is like it still has that same flexibility except for the printing right on it and putting that in that's not going to work we'll see if i miss it these these are actually stickers so put on it we'll see um the truth of the matter is that oh i drew these aren't these fun um the truth of the matter is that a lot of the printing directly on the page spreads were done with planners anonymous digital kits and which this is not an example of, and um, those haven't been released much. Um, they haven't been a priority for the owners, and that's fair, uh, but it means that I don't really feel that need quite as much. So if they decide to reprioritize it in 2023, I will being a little bit of a quandary but i i can't always print those things out and and put them on as stickers so i don't feel like i'm too locked into anything on this layout there is a weekly layout here and this is going to be a place where i'm going to have to get creative because these columns instead of being like an inch and a half wide like i'm used to are just over an inch wide and they are so small so I'm definitely going to be flexing some creative muscles in the weekly spreads, but the dailies are just blank grid, and there's a lot that I can do with that, and I'm really inspired by it. There are days where I feel like I might want, there's enough here. This is the six month, I guess I started to say that. This is a six month book. Um, it came as a two pack, like, so you could buy it as one whole book for the whole year, or you could buy it as two half year books. And that's what I got. This way I have an out. If this really doesn't work for me, then I just gotta get through six months. I have gotten through six months many times before. If I really want to go back to the box planner, um, I could do that elsewhere and just journal in these pages. I mean, these daily pages make up two thirds of the book. So if I decide that all I want to do is journal in here and then I want to do the weekly spreads elsewhere, I won't feel that wasteful um, for this book. And then I would, you know, sell the extra book or something if I decided that. So I think that this, despite the fact that it's book bound, still gives me a lot of the flexibility that I'm looking for. But the only way I'm going to know is by trying it and by seeing what happens. And that is kind of what I love. So look forward to more 2023 commonplace, common planners coming up soon. If you want this layout here with the dots on it, I will put that up in my store and put a link below. Um, it's, it won't be dated or anything, but if, if that's a printable that interests you so that you can go back and forth between this kind of week and this kind of week, um, I, will, I will put that up so that it's available for you. Anyway, this has been kind of haphazard, but that is how planning journeys are. So we're going to lean in, and um, I hope you found this interesting and helpful. And if you want to see more from me, there's more coming. I am so excited to be working on this, and so uh, that is in the works. All right, talk to you soon. Bye.